Rockbox, we talked about this for a couple seconds on Tuesday. This is a, uh, a uh, free open source jukebox firmware. It's available for the iPod. As a matter of fact, check this screen out. Right, This is the basic web page. Look at this. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another open source web page. Uh, but if you take a look, if you have an older uh, MP3 player, there's no reason to sort of let it languish and die. I mean, check this out. They've got Arcos players in like multiple versions, some of the older iRivers. They've got almost pretty much all the iPods, uh, iPod and iPod Nano, iPod Mini covered. Um, iRiver, they've got a ton of different hardware devices that they cover on this. Now, why do we care about this? We're talking about getting your FLAC files to play in iTunes. Natively. Natively. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think it's going to play. Well, I don't know if it'll play in iTunes, but it might play in an right. iPod. An iPod. Well, the problem is, is a they, iPod. they're not going to play in <laughs> iTunes. iTunes, uh, you know, without some, some third-party help, isn't going to convert FLAC. And we'll talk about FLAC in a second. FLAC into uh, Apple Lossless or, yeah. or one of the other formats it supports. Um, but Rockbox actually will support FLAC. And it's it's pretty basic software. You're not going to be able to see this if I hold it up on here, right? We've got the uh, firmware running on it right now, and this is probably the worst possible version of the firmware. Check this out. Um, you know, you can basically just see the little tiny lines on there, um, but. In theory, and I'm still working through because there's a ton of individual settings on that, you can actually get a pretty graphic, pretty shiny, happy interface uh, going on with Rockbox that looks pretty good on the iPod. Now, you can probably just barely see it, right? But here we have basically sort of a three-line interface up there which little tiny bits of code. So you're going to have to do some customization. It's definitely running on here, but you're going to have to do some customization on the actual firmware itself. Um, the database actually is faster than I expected on that. You have to search it and then you're going to want to set it up so it stores in memory um, but again you know without some some modifications this is the initial load it's definitely an enthusiast kind of toy without some experimentation you're not going to be able to read the little tiny fonts that are on there oh is this a one-way trip you load the rock box and you ain't going no, back it is not a one-way trip you can basically turn around you can just barely i bet after this is compressed you'll even barely be able to see them, but you know, basically it imported all the tunes on there so it can play them, and it leaves all of the, basically the iPod loader and the iPod information in there. Okay. So you have the, it is not necessarily a one-way trip, but you may not be able to. I can't get it back the way it was? <laughs> you can always get it back. Okay. I'm saying it's okay. not a one-way trip. Okay. That's all that matters. At Just the moment, case. I can't tell you how to convert it back because I haven't <laughs> tried, but I'm pretty sure we can plug this in, yank the firmware, and it'll go out. And in I'm also, theory. In theory. It sounds great. That's awesome, though. Yeah. It's it, pretty It's pretty slick, and it allows you to take advantage of a really nice piece of hardware. Especially if you have a player that perhaps has enough storage for your needs, but doesn't perhaps support what it, the file formats that you're interested in. Yeah. Can, it's a great way to repurpose. That's awesome. That's an awesome project. I just want to figure out, it's going to be fun to actually figure out how to get the really shiny background on there. That's going to take me a while to sort out. That's that's what I want on there instead of little tiny lines. So okay. I will I will keep endeavoring uh, to sort that one there's out. There's probably an email already going, look, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like the video you just saw, you can find lots more at www.dl.tv.